Hello guys, welcome back to another Dark Souls 2 lore through. Watch this. See? Okay. So... We are now in the Lost Bastille. And there used to be a hide knight here. No longer. And if I didn't know any better, that looks like a boss battle. It's not, but it looks like one. Yeah, we can't see a ton from here, but. Oh, fire arrows. <laughs> Great timing. Really? Wow. Okay. Still learning all the enemy placements. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's... Interesting. Soul of a brave warrior and a human effigy. Oops, keep forgetting. Where is he? I thought I was going to knock it down. There we go. Alright. Royal Swordsman Helm. Is no longer up there. Whoops. Whoops, I keep thinking I'm switching. I just want to correct the parry. I'm not doing parries very well, so it's making me do them less, which will make me worse at them, so I want to at least attempt it a little bit. Dogging this now. And that is still an Osis Flask Shard and a large Titanite. And in here we can see the uh, bonfire. See what's in here. Okay, I saw those uh, 
barrels in here. I knew I couldn't stand in here for one second. One more second. Alright. I think this is locked. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that was. Nice. Trap failed. See, there's an item up there. And is there anything special about this? This is one way to come down. Okay. work. What the? What happened? Oh, that, he pushes down a barrel. pushes down a barrel that should break this. Um, and this is locked. Can I... I guess I don't need these. Can I do this in this game? We couldn't do this in uh, the original game. actually use that shortcut if you can believe it. Okay. Rare pine resin with golden glint. The affected weapon inflicts lightning damage for a short time, particularly effective against foes who are resistant to magic and fire. I think I can get this guy to blow himself up. Those do a lot of damage. Hopefully this guy can push down the barrel correctly, and it won't blow up. Okay. 
Don't, okay. Don't swing at it. Looks like there's an alive dog up there. Hello. Don't swing at it. Uh, can I push it down? I tried to roll out of the way at the last second there, but that would have crushed the barrel anyway. Ah, <sighs> a struggle. Alright. Come on. Now actually blow yourself up. Apparently he's just gonna throw fireballs. Can we roll any of these? Do we have more options? Huh. Let's see. Still a large Titanite shard, which is good. And if you can blow those up, you can get over there. But luckily, we have Lucatil. Antiquated key. key is very old but in very good condition such that it should still function only what lock does this key fit hmm I'm probably gonna try some things out because you know they might have changed it um, okay we got a short bow and we have fire arrows perfect even though I think Regular arrows might work. Can we grab it? Can we hit it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's talk to Lucatil first. I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> The longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A wretched place indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? Degradation of the land or of the people? Ah, yes. I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. This is for you. Of course, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> huh. You don't know what it is like. You, uh, don't know how to turn back human, or... Don't know what it is because it says it looks like whoever looks at it, but you have lost your past so much that you don't know what it looks like anymore. Our land of Mira is surrounded by enemies and constantly at war. There is only one way up in Mira. Join the Order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword and my loyalty to my lord. So yeah, now we're learning about Mira. Mira, I think, is to the east and uh, is surrounded by enemies and is constantly at war. And we'll see that from a number of other people that come from Mira. Um, um, they're, a, they're a fighting place. And it sounds like Lucatiel, you know, had very little in means of 
um, you know, any type of beginning, any type of connections. Um, and she brought herself up from nothing by joining the order and fighting for the kingdom. And now she's all garishly dressed. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here to... Yet again, another person. It's interesting, because the past is not drifted away for Lucatiel, as it said that would happen once you become undead. But, um... But yeah, when she tries to think about why she came to Dring Lake, she doesn't remember anymore. Have you heard of the undead? These poor souls affected by the curse. An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true, I can only hope that they are. So, Lucatillo rips off her mask and you can see some sort of disfiguration or burn or something on her face. Um, perhaps it doesn't happen anywhere else in the game, but perhaps it's, you know, a partial hollowing. Um, but it doesn't seem like Lucatiel knows that, well, she said, have you heard of these undead and explains the process and then she goes on to rip her mask off. So I guess she's trying to say that she is undead herself. It's just a crazy hat. I'm sorry. To burden you with talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary these days. I'm sorry. I... Yeah. Well, we'll keep talking to her. See what she, uh... Oh, did this guy fall off somehow? Great. Um... Yeah. Whoops. Ooh, headshot. Uh, since we can't go over here, although, can we now? Is there a way to get up? Who's shooting at me? Okay. There wasn't a way you could go back this way, but that's the other bonfire that we reached via the pursuer's fight. Oh, hello. Ooh, Royal Greatsword. Despite the magnificence of this weapon, it was terribly inadequate in the war against the mighty giants. Uh, one way to do this room is to come in through these windows here from coming the other direction. And then you can push this down. Alright, now I do know that out here the pursuer chases us, and there is a hole there. Okay. Okay, there's the pursuer. Okay. Come on. He's got more dark on him now.
I hope you can't like spew dark randomly. Cause that would be Ooh. Don't wanna Ooh. Oops, that's just a life gem. Oh no. <laughs> Too early. Oh. <laughs> that was the dark. One, the move that I don't know very well. I don't know how to dodge it. You can see a bell tower over there. What'd you drop for us? Twinkling. Alright. Got a fragrant branch of yore and the covetous serpent ring. Um, do we want to grab the covetous serpent ring? Sure. A silver ring depicting the snake, both the servant and manifestation of the god of greed, Xandro. Greed is traditionally viewed as a vice, but only a fool allows that to ruin a good opportunity. So, so serpents are still associated with hubris, or what did they say, avarice, in the, uh, in the first game. But now, we've developed a god of greed, Xandro, or wherever we are right now is um, has a god that you know in, in Lordran there was none okay well I'm glad we got a fragrant branch of yard because I do know that this area now has a place where you need to use that um, well, let's cut them off at the impasse. Really? Huh. I could use my binoculars. Okay, well, it's not going to let me do this. Um, so we're going to we're going to binocular it. Hopefully this doesn't make me fall. Okay. Okay. Now we can target him. Okay. Little swordsman armor. I don't know if we read that one in particular or if it has anything to say, but. King Vendrick supplied the bravest men with the best armor. Okay. So yeah, I know that we had to have a fragrant branch of our just to even get in here. He's an undead, so I believe he is. down the uh, enemies in here, but they probably didn't. Um, actually, I'm going to go and see if this antiquated key happens to be the one that fits the, uh, the blacksmith. Um, in the original one, it was the um, Bastille key which opened it, but you know, anything could change and I could use a bonfire right now. Oh, maybe that's what opens up that door over there. Is there any any better any benefit from me going there? No, I don't have any Pharos lock stones. He could get me into the. Could get me. Well, no, I can't get up on the roof. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. I think I'll wait to go back 
around that way, and I'll just try to do the bosses here. Um, all right. Fighting in the doorway is a real effective way to get hurt. Yeah, there's still a million enemies. Do they hit this? you not want to try parrying it at this stage. But I gotta get better. Um, okay, I guess we'll go... These guys have surprises in them. I forget if I mentioned in the last episode, by the way, this goes down to nothing, so we don't want to leave. Ooh! It's just the shortcut, apparently. Um, I'm going to now travel to the other bonfire and grab, grab the items over here, which I think is like a, a large titanite shard, which will be nice. Gem. Okay, still one is alive. <laughs> Alright, well that's that. But we still have to fight like 50 million royal guards, which I'm not a fan of. Alright. Does Lucatil disappear this quickly? Yeah. I feel like even when you were dying in the, uh, No Man's Wharf, she, uh, ooh, that, I feel like that would normally hit me. Wow. This is an epic battle. Does he come over? Oh my god. We could open up this bonfire, uh, now, potentially. He, oh, he's smart enough. Okay. So I'm just wondering if we'll get hit or if he'll hit the thing beforehand. Oh, man, I hope I could push it down. It'd just be nice to have. Okay, so it just goes down there. It doesn't actually... Let's see if we can do it with a bomb.
Nice. These guys are all hot and bothered now. I suppose I should get a weapon. Dropping a lot of souls. Does the Covetous Silver Ring... Does it increase item drops too, now? I still have a... Gold one. But anyway. McDuff's workshop. Oh, this is interesting. So we'd have the... Yeah, if you come the one way, you'll have his ember now, so that you don't have to, like, come back. Huh. Oh, I like that. Um, let's talk to him first. <laughs> oh, why can't they all be this easy? It's a wild one here. Shape up. Shape up, I say. I suppose Mr. McDuff is supposed to look like Andre. Again, the NPC quality in Dark Souls 2 certainly lacks. Oh, <laughs> I see, yes. That's the way. And he's completely hollow. Dear flame, how brightly you burn. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's not completely hollow because he'd be attacking. I mean, he kind of is. But, um, yeah. Flame, flame. I smell flame upon you. I'm Macduff the blacksmith. All I want is a little flame. So, hand that ember to me. Right now, you imbecile. You just settle down. I'll give it to you in time. What? Hmm. Oh, do it yourself then. Flynn. Okay. Right now. Uh, no. What? I am gonna get you on your perch first. Now we have 47 minutes of torch. <laughs> the flame here, I'll give you your ember. Flame. I'm the so right now. <laughs> what a marvelous ember. You've got stones, I pray. Oh, a few. Give me stones, and I'll fortify your gear. So yeah, he is I mean I think there's only the two blacksmiths, and this Andre is the only guy who can ascend or Infuse. So we can en we can enchant the fire with enchanted, although it would lose its fire then. Um, I feel like in the old game, what happened is that it lost its scaling with. Um, with the like strength and dex, and then at, and then went totally fire. I think it. Maybe I'm misremembering that. Uh, he can also repair, reinforce, and he has some items here. So he does have the bastard sword. Heavy great sword are the great swords are designed to be wielded two-handed, normally swung in large arcs and effective against multiple foes. Be wary that such attacks leave the wielder wide open. Again, this this game is much clearer in how dual handing works. If you have two hands, you only need half of the strength. So if I have ten strength, which I do, I could wield this two handed only. Uchi. Ooh, that's five. Um, katana of unknown origin. This finely sharpened blade of a katana slices with unmistakable smoothness, but should be wielded with caution as its delicate constitution means it's easily worn. I think we read that. I do like me as a spear. We haven't done a spear in a while. I, I haven't played with a spear in a while. We have the scythe, a longbow. 
Kite crossbow and the Royal Kite Shield. Nothing special about this shield, which is precisely why it is so easy to use, and likely a reason for its popularity. People rarely agree over what constitutes quality, but the broad popularity of these shields proves that there are exceptions. Okay, the same. And then he sells a large tight knight. But I do have three. I just feel like I want to be moving up in the world here and getting another sword going. I like the black steel katanas a lot, but I, you know, could do a, could do an ooch build. Let me, uh, let me talk to him. He's got some cool things to say, actually. Flame, dear flame, I give you my all, and you wave it and fault it. <laughs> From the start of time, Flame allowed man to flourish, and even now he devises new fiery arts, but his reason makes him doubt Flame. And so we waver and falter. I think this speech doesn't say a ton, but it's just nicely written about how flame fault wavers and falters to human and when humans try to wield it they w waver and falter to the flame it's just a nice description of the relationship we have with it the power of the flame power of the gods in the end it is all beyond our reach and so flame allures us and we attempt to harness its power. Flame, dear Flame. Flame, dear Flame, I give you my own. Yeah. And Oops. And so, be gone. All right. Well, let's let's look through some of these. I mean, I hope none of these have turned into a mimic or have been trapped or anything. So I'm just going to open them. Iron arrows. Heavy bolt. Craftsman hammer and twinkling. Is this large or regular? It'd be nice if it was regular. Five regular. That's so nice. And two large. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um. I guess let's start with the big ones. And then let's read some of the stuff we just got. So that looks like um, Andre's hammer, an old smithing hammer. Looks like a typical hammer, but is in fact incredibly sturdy. Some say it was the hammer used long ago by a famed blacksmith of yore. Okay, okay, okay. Um, also, did we read Twinkling? Form of time, a special power. What cosmic? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, I hope to fetch a new ember. Flame. That kind of indicates there might be another ember in the game, but there isn't. Um, okay, so... Bastard or Uchi. I'm gonna... Or we can go with Wing Spear and then go level up. I think I'm gonna do another Uchi build. Purchase that from him. Oops. So plus six versus a plus five. It's nice. Okay. Um, still have to get used to the first. So this is another thing that I think Dark Souls Two does better 
but I'm so much used, to, I'm more used to Dark Souls 1 where this screen is the second one. It makes sense that you want to go into your menu, you want to go to your inventory, like go to your, uh, your equipment first. Oh, did I not equip? So I didn't actually equip this even though, ugh, silly. Okay. Ooh, and it's actually, uh, it's scaling better now that I've gone up. So that should be doing some good damage for us. I mean, we're getting close to being... Um... Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> better, better defense and less, uh... Yeah, I'll use Dream Like Leggings for now. Yeah, we're good. We're good here. All right. Um. All right, so I guess let's go on and try to take the boss on. We've got a few minutes here. Oh, so that, that stays away, I like that. Doing a little bit more damage now. That's nice. I suppose we could also... And... Let's use one of these, I guess. Okay. Now we won't... These won't blow up anymore. Oh, they won't even break immediately. That's kind of funny. He still will, will cause them to blow up. He's a pyromancer, but I think most enemies that hit will do that, so I don't know if that's... Oh. Ah. Yeah, definitely killing these guys in two hits now. Oh, what's this? Is that a guy? Or is that... <laughs> is that... Usually the NPCs, like, have, like, a name, like... Blah blah blah, the Wanderer. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Yeah, it's gone, so that was... I should get some more uh, stamina at some point here. Okay, that's weird. I know the AI like runs into if they run into an object, they like hit it or whatever right afterwards. But I mean, that was weird. He just. Oops. Come on. I feel like this is someone though. Felicia the Brave. Um, yeah, we'll get Felicia. I mean, is there still the one? Oh, this guy's running away. <laughs> yeah, also, the new feature in this game is that there's pools of blood that. Show. Oh, we can just go through them now. Uh, but the pools of blood show you like many people dying, which is cool. Versus just a blood stain. 
Okay. Ugh. That ADP though. So I don't know if I mentioned the last one, but this is the place where they were shipping off um, undead. Um, I don't think it was Vendrick. We might read that it was Vendrick, but um, this is, it, at the very least, I believe the king before him was definitely doing it with uh, getting the pirates from the Ver Varangians to shepherd people together, use them as slaves, and then ship them off here. And while they were traveling here, they would get tortured by um, the Flexile Sentry. And we'll learn more about those guys. Um, I'm used to just using, what is this guy named? Bel Belclair? Pilgrim Belclair. I mean, let's just go all in, man. I know we're going to raise the... Uh, I think we see Felicia again, too. Um, I know we're going to raise the health, but I mean... I usually don't have a problem with these guys anymore. Alright, come Felicia. She's got the... Uh, what is that called? The lunge. It's got a lunge attack. That's nice. And has the cyan. Yeah, I guess she's wearing the cyan stuff. Oh, uh, well, it looks like the Elite Knight's set, but she's got a cyan shield. Okay, well, anyway. Oh yeah, my my Uchi's almost broken. Oh, it still hit me. Oops. Don't knock her off. I might need to use a repair powder. up here at one point. What are you doing, Belclair? There it is. Oh. Oops, I'm doing the wrong weapon again. <laughs> Alright, well we should go down there, I guess. Using a soul spear. Oops. I suppose I should have guessed that would happen. Ooh. So yeah, obviously these are the sentinels that um, looked over the uh, Lost Bastille, and they're actually uh, golems. Take that, Alicia. None of them have thrown their shields. Ooh, nice shot, Belclair. I guess we left uh, Felicia just down here, like, <laughs> fighting them for a little bit. All right, well, let's see what this soul says. 
the creation of the jailer. The ruined sentinel has no corporeal form. It is only empty soul that haunts the armor. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get there. Oh, what? Really? There used to be one here. Where is it here? There's a whole bunch in this area. So I just check all the walls. And there used to be some blank ones. So maybe they put something in each one now? Get some rusted coin luck. Yep. Still nothing, although. Seems weird. Weird thing to not um, fix. Target shield. Same as in Dark Souls 1, and no lore. Alright, well, we're gonna go and rest at the next bonfire, and then we will. Uh, Get some good lore coming up there. So hush, remember this sorcery from the secret group of sorcerers at Vinheim Dragon School. Sorcery that facilitates surreptitious activity. Uh, the Eastern Land of Mira is not only the home of proud knights, there is also a traditional order of shadow knights who completely carry out unspeakable tasks. Hmm. Wonder if uh, Mira Benheimer related. I mean, I actually know the answer to some of the questions I ask, but sometimes I just ask them. This one's a little tough. I try to lure this guy out. Yeah, I don't want to hit that chest. Or I can do this. That's one that um, people usually miss. Ooh, and a rogue water or rouge water? Is that it's rogue? Rouge. Huh. I always thought that was rogue water. <laughs> I never like bothered to read it. My dyslexia flipped the G and the U around. Crimson water of unknown origin, though known to some as red holy water. Not everyone acknowledges its holy status. I guess I should have guessed it's called rouge. Um, oh, some things are still a bit rusty. All right, there's all these hidden doors and hidden doors within hidden doors. That was another uh, miracle, actually, or uh, sorcery. But hmm. all right, let's get to this bonfire, and then we can uh, level up and stuff. Or I guess I'll just do that off screen. But um, and there's still is there still stuff here? I feel like there is um, potentially one more up here. But okay. They get you here, they're like, oh, there's something here, so check every, check every one, but there's, of course, this guy here that, that explodes. That is a small cell, by the way. This would be literal, like, ugh. Just makes my skin crawl thinking about how claustrophobic that would be. All right. So, we're in the servants' quarters of the Lost Bastille, but we're going to go back to the Far Fire. And this will end the episode, and uh, we'll uh, talk about more lore. We have some good lore coming up uh, next time. Bye.